welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. This one's different. I smelt it and I saw your notes and I'm impressed. This one's full nominal. I'm full nominal. Full nominal. <laughs> F U L L nominal. Yes. I'm making stuff up now. Calm down. Hmm. So it smells like uh, it's just got a really super sweet nose. It's like it's just like a pineapple bomb though. And as weird as it is, it's like pineapple gummy bears to me. I eat the Albanese ones because I'm a bougie bitch about gummy bears. And they're really good and they have like a really good flavor profile to them. And it reminds me exactly of those gummy bears. You know what gummy bears are like? What? The dollar store. It's my favorite. They're I, always harder than the normal ones. I don't like them hard. I like them to be soft and... Mm -hmm. Voluptuous. <laughs> what about the sour gummy bears? I'm a fan. I like them. I don't like Albany's sour gummy bears though. I like Har Haribo. Yeah, Haribo. I like I like their Harbo. Uh, I like their sour gummy bears. Comment which ones? Sour or regular? Albany's or Haribo? Harbo. I don't think they care about your candy. I don't think they do either, but maybe. Or dollar store because you know I'm right. They're cheaper. <sighs> no, you're cheap. Anyway. So it has a really nice pineapple, sweet candy. So you get like. pineapple gummy bear. I get fresh pineapple and, um, you know that like Hawaiian salad that you get in the deli? Oh, the like uh, ambrosia, ambrosia. I don't know. Is it ambrosia? It's like pineapple, cherries, marshmallows, and coconut. No, it's the one marshmallow, oranges, pineapple. Yeah, that's ambrosia. Uh, well, it smells like that, but with fresh pineapple to me. It's got that whipped creaminess and. It is creamy. I get a little bit of brown sugar and there is like a, there's a charriness to it, but it's not like as dominant as most rums as we're, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's pineapple lifesavers. I get pineapple candy. It's pineapple lifesavers and pineapple gummy bears. I think it's funny that you have to turn your whole body to look at me. Shut up. It's not funny. It hurts. It's very, very sweet. It's mm. very crisp and fruity and refreshing smelling. What are you going to get? And it's tropical. Um, full points. I like this a lot. Full points? And you have no idea this what I paid for. It smells so good. <laughs> mm. So it is blind. She does know what it is. Uh, I don't do the research on the rum. I'm lazy. I was blind when she did her notes. I will say, I paid $25 for this bottle, and the score she's giving is crazy. Candy pineapple definitely comes through. I feel like I just ate a handful of pineapple gummy bears. Um, there's a vanilla cakey note to it that comes... Definitely like a pineapple upside down cake, but with fresh pineapple. My grandma uses the rings and it's definitely not that. It has that that zanginess, that zesty tang it from a normal like pineapple. pineapple and cake. It's cakey. But in all the best ways, that's it literally what it smells transfers to the taste. Um I get this warm vanilla butterscotch thing going on like honestly butter it, but like it, it tastes like i put like a butter rum lifesaver and That's a piece different of than pineapple butterscotch cake. though butter rum is yeah. like sweeter and, and caramelier toffier do they actually make that with rum i no i don't know i don't know probably rum flavoring you can get rum flavoring but i know that but i wonder what kind of rum it originally started on if I look that up, I'll put a note okay, somewhere down Okay, so here. there's, this to me tastes like I put a butter rum lifesaver and a pineapple lifesaver in my mouth together. It's very sweet. 
not like coyingly sweet. It's just got a really nice sweet vibe to it, but it has that fresh crispiness really to it. Really big word for you. What? Vibe? No. Oh. You think vibe is a big word? I don't know. I coyingly. I, <laughs> assuming you were making fun of me. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Well, I was hoping you'd say coyingly, and then I'd go for one of the shorter words, but. Anyway. I can't even say that word. Right, I can say it. You can't. This is really good. I. Yeah. What you gonna give it though? Not much of a burn of alcohol either, and I don't get that burnt chartiness that I usually do. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half. There's not all the upper top shelf rums we have, and this is the one you're gonna rate higher. Sorry. So the finish is, it's warm and it's nice and it kind of just simmers through my digestive system. I don't know. As it's going down, it kind of warms, it warms you up and it's nice, but it's really. I think of weird things when you say digestive. Oh. That could mean anything from your stomach to your butthole. It's very nice and warm as it flows down. Okay. Is that where your digestive system starts? A lot of shit that would come out of your mouth. <laughs> I hate you. Fell into my joke. You're rude. Um, I don't that there's that fresh, crispy, refreshing note of fresh pineapple that stays the whole time. I smell it, I taste it, and it's lingering in my mouth. And it's really refreshing. It's really nice. Like this is like I want to sit on a beach in a hammock with the waves crashing with crystal clear blue water. It really and... throws me off because the founder or the owner of the company says they don't add any flavoring or any sugar. How is that possible? That is so much pineapple. I feel like it had to have been added. I feel like it has to be... It doesn't even taste like sugar was added. It tastes I like pineapple flavor. I feel like it added. has to be some kind of tropical nuance. But I don't know. this is a... Uh, where is this from? Philippine. Filipino rum. It really pisses me off that they spell the island with a P-H. And then Filipino's F-I-L. He hollered at me about this for like 20 whole minutes one day. How do you spell Filipino? I'm like, F-I-L. He goes, and how do you spell the Philippines? And I said, P-H-A-H. See, that doesn't work. <laughs> we were going somewhere and he hollered the whole car ride. Shut up. Anyway. What? Did you finish the finish? No, you keep cutting me off. Oh, wonder why our videos go so long. Four. Finish is a four. I want a little bit more depth yeah. from it and a little more lingerness. What is it, 80 proof? But. Yes, it is 80 proof. I think if it was higher, it'd actually last longer. Maybe. Look, How's really the mouth nice. feel? Did you say anything about I, that? The mouth feel is syrupy to me. It's not like, like a vanilla syrup. It's not like a like caramel syrup or anything like that. It has a thickness to it. But it just flows it's through like your mouth. It's like melted candy. Yeah. Everything about this is very candy-like. But it's not overly sweet like but they would add sugar. Yeah. I. Mm -hmm. If we ever um, do interviews one day, I'd like to interview them and get some information. There's not much out there about it. No. I think it's a newer brand too. But go on to the look. Let's get this over with. So. I just, it's like a goldenrod honey. It's very flowy and just pure, pristine pineapple, golden pineapple yeah. color. We're going to stick with the pineapple theme. Uh, it has nice legs and a nice bead line. And I mean, I'm not mad at it. Uh, I'm going to give it a two. Mm. I didn't add any of that up. I know you didn't. I'm working on it. Well, since you already know what it is, I'm going to reveal it is Kasama, or I don't know how you would say that. I'll go with Kasama. How would you say that even smoother? I don't know. I didn't do my research. So this is aged seven years from the Philippines, as I said. 
Um, it has a sticker that says age seven years, so it is age stated. I don't know if that is minimum. I would assume it is. Maybe I could be wrong. It says escape to the islands. No, oh, it escapes you to the islands. I'll yeah. So one thing, I wonder if that pineapple comes through in the terroir, the water, because it is a very tropical place. I mean, yeah. I wonder if that adds to it. Could if be a it lot of things. It comes from a spring down there. It, right. You never know what it could be. This is a seven year rum from the Philippines. Kasama actually means together in Filipino. I think that's pretty cool. And I thought that it was kind of cool. Their website, go visit it. It's really cool. Like it that? has, it's very elaborate and tropical and it makes you like, it's like a getaway. And there's just people and beaches and waves and surfboards and. It's just really fun and energetic and just you know tropical. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you got a little alfalfa coming out of your bun mm -hmm. in the back. Oh. I'm gonna lick and stick. Oh. Hey, it worked. Don't touch me. Mm -hmm. All right. What What did you give the bottle? I like the bottle. I'm giving it full points. Okay. Um. It's different. What's that I total score? That's the only thing I don't like. Yeah. Then why did you give it full points? Cause it's still a pretty bottle. Mm. Who else has a pine or er, pine tree, a palm tree on the top? Come on, mm. come on. Where and is the Philippines? In it's over by like spirits. Japan. It's south of Japan. It's like in between Japan and Australia. By Indonesia. So it is a very warm place. So you got any info on it? I already told you what I know. I'm on their website. It says. Kasama is the sunshine spirit, and we are seven-year-old rum from the Philippines, and we are on a mission to bring you a youthful attitude and an old spirit. Inspired by our tropical archipelago, we created a golden rum infused with island optimism and good vibes. Welcome to the good life. Mm. So it's made with noble sugar cane in the Philippines, aged seven years in American oak barrels that once held bourbon. Uh, while it's distilled from sugarcane juice rather than molasses, similar to rum agricole, it lacks agricole's grassy funk. Instead, it is stunningly smooth and sweet that tastes of pineapple, banana, and caramel. Um, so fresh pressed sugarcane, you do get more like fruity flavors. So that doesn't that surprise me. Explains that. And it does say that the founder insists there is no coloring no flavoring and no, no sugar added. added to it so i'm impressed going on that note um my final thoughts is it's more of a cocktail sipper you like it neat i want something more i think it would make crazy daiquiris and um, i'm sure it would make a good daiquiri i'm sure it would make a good like anything you i bet you in. What is a rum cocktail that's just like lime juice and what's a this? meal? You can no. make a meal with them. What's a simple cocktail? Uh. I'm blanking. Well, anyway, this and the coconut cartel together, you get that coconut and that pineapple and a simple, simple cocktail. I think it'd be fantastic. It's more of a sipper for you. I pay 25. It looks like it's 30 most places. Oh, mojito? No. Pina colada. Daiquiri. Mai Tai. I was thinking Mai Tai. That is not simple. Daiquiri is rum, lime juice, and syrup. Okay, syrup. well that's what I was <laughs> saying, but I was thinking daiquiri, so I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a cocktail drinker. I'm aware. Either way, I'm impressed. I I will buy it and keep it stocked for you. I, if I, I think I find this is a good the first cocktail, one I've craved. You know what? On the beach, Beaver Island. Yeah. A mai, what is it? A Mai Tai, you said? Daiquiri. Daiquiri is a simple you one. You said a Mai Tai. Well, this, Coconut Cartel, a squeeze of lime at the beach. I'm done. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm sitting there. I, f I hope they do more with this brand. So, it originates in the Philippines. They ship it to Poland. They... I think her dad, the founder's dad, Alexander's dad, owns the chopping imports. They bottle it there in Poland, and then they ship it and sell it in the U.S. So it seems like it's only sold here. 
I'd try it. I'd, I'd recommend it, but more for a cocktail. If you like a sweeter, it's not sweet, like candied sweet, but it's has those attributes to it of a sweeter rum. And if you are a pineapple fan slash butter rum, butterscotch fan, yeah. I would highly recommend it. It's got some great flavor to it. And especially, you all know, John and I like the stuff that doesn't have the flavoring and color and sugar and all that added. So, Alexandra, you're doing great. Keep it up. We're Call big us for fans. an interview. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.